My name is Nancy Liu, and I'm a music publicist. I've been doing music publicity for about seven years, and when I first started, I was working as an in-house publicist at a management company, and about five years ago, I decided to kind of strike out on my own and work with clients that I was personally very passionate about, and I've been doing that ever since. For artists, the path that you take is really up to you. So if you're in love with a certain label and you feel like based on the artists that they work with um, that they can do the same thing for your project and that's what you want, that, that's your goal. You can get there, I think, either on your own or with the help of a publicist. Now there are so many distribution companies that can also help with Spotify pitching. And there are a lot of successful musicians who opt not to be with a label because they're getting what they feel like they would get at a label anyway. It's these streams that are coming back to them monetarily and sustaining their career. So that's really the only thing that kind of matters at the end of the day is that you have the resources to continue creating. There's not necessarily one moment or point in your career where you should absolutely bring on a publicist or that you should wait until to bring on a publicist. I think it really has to do with whether or not you feel like bringing on X person is gonna add value to your releases and if you have the budget to do so. When I'm looking at an artist, a solo or a band, what I'm really looking for is that all of the pieces are together, the music's great, it's something that I would personally listen to and also that I feel personally passionate about, that they have a good idea of who they are not only as a musician but also as an individual because at this point in media, I think to be successful as an artist you need to be somebody who has a story to tell beyond just, I'm a great singer and I can write great hooks. You know, I think from a branding perspective, having great photos, um, having at least connections to people who are great photographers and also our great directors, if you're gonna shoot music videos, is also important. You don't have to hire the most expensive person. I think if you have talented friends and you're just kind of pulling out of your creative community, you can accomplish a lot of things that other people pay thousands of dollars to do. You can't really expect things to happen overnight, and this might be the single, it might be the one that takes off on streaming platforms, but you still need to have something to follow that up with, otherwise it's just a flash in the pan. I think there's always going to be some anxiety before you release any music, because you're worried, is anyone going to like this? Is anyone going to notice? And, you know, is it saying exactly what I want to say about myself, but I think Having that anxiety is good, it means that you care and you know you have to jump off the ledge at some point and put it out into the world.